with your Loma IQ metal detector, we will be sending a manual. And we strongly recommend you read the manual, all the instructions for how to set up and operate the machine are in the manual, including what we're going to be showing you here. We're going to take you through a quick product setup, but uh, all of that sort of thing is, is in here in your manual. Uh, in addition to your manual, you will receive test ones. Voila, test ones will come with your machine. This is a Loma IQ metal detector. It happens to be our item number Y2362. We're going to set up a product. And so the first thing we're going to do is we'll change to an empty empty product. And it'll come up not calibrated. Then you go to setup, product setup. Product number three, name, and we happen to be doing rice. So we're basically typing in the name here. Product setup or right. Right. Dry product, no. Leave that on no. How come it is dry product, sure, isn't it? But that allows it to if it's not a dry product, it will detect the wet product or anything. Oh, okay. So we'll leave that on there. Reject delay and stuff. Full calibrate. Yes. Enter. Pass product. Say pass product. And it's counting down. In the meantime, we just keep putting the product through again and again. And you get a more accurate setup if you use multiple products instead of just one sample. And it's calibrate complete. So that's kind of it. The product is now set up. We've learned that product. We put the name in and uh, show it and test it. And that detected the two millimeter band fairs. All right, so again, that's the product learn on the Loma IQ metal detector, uh, or it says product calibrate on the display. Um, all this is in the manual that will come with the machine and you will have test wands to work with that are also uh, provided with the machine. I uh, hope that helps. Again, uh, look through the manual and uh, follow the directions. Something that's not in the manual is that you do have to uh, hit the red button when the machine rejects and the buzzer buzzes. Hit the red button to reset the machine because there are several different options for reject devices that you can put on the machine. The belt stop alarm reject obviously stops the belt and sets off the buzzer and you reset it by pushing that button. There's also a screw. Uh, you can just see it there on the bottom so that you can twist that screw to increase the volume or decrease the volume of the buzzer.